Well, we are burning it down. Probably just used half a tank of gas here. So you might be asked. Oh, 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 geez. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Oh, just flew off. Oh, that's fine. Now we have here a Dodge Hellcat in its natural environment. Um, we have a boat. First off, thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video, and folks, it's finally here. We get to check it out, the Crew Motor Fest, and I've been waiting for this one for a while. So if you're wondering what this is, it's an awesome racing game where you get to explore a vibrant Hawaiian open world, immerse yourself in exciting car culture experiences, and discover a diverse collection of vehicles from the past, present, and future. And folks, I look forward to unlocking some of the Dodge vehicles in here. So the Crew Motor Fest is available now on PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox Series X and 1, and the PC. And you can click the link down in the description to purchase the Crew Motor Fest. Also, you can play for 5 hours for free from September 14th through the 18th. And folks, let's jump in. Okay, super excited to jump in here, and oh my goodness, this looks pretty insane. So we've got a uh, old Toyota Supra. We're doing a, I think it's like a Japanese uh, themed event here. Lots of iconic cars around us. Oh, this is incredible. All right, just get up the inside. So yeah, we'll play through uh, some of these uh, early uh, races here and see if we get to get our own vehicle, maybe do some customizing. All right, let's see if we can get a run on the outside. My goodness, this is colorful. Uh, by the way, this Super looks sweet. I mean, it doesn't get any more iconic other than these classic Supras. Okay, let's make a move up the inside here. We gotta catch first place. Looks like they're in a Z up there. i to use a little bit of boost here. There we go. Oh yeah, we got a handbrake too. Ooh, okay. Komodo just slides right off. I right, see if we can slide the car a little bit. Oh, that other person just went right through that barrier. It's fine. We'll take the lead here. Uh, go ahead and slide the car a little bit more. Got a little damage to the rear of this. Oh, well, that would break my heart and we'll have to have damage to this car. Oh, yeah. Man, the uh, awesome looking like wide body kit on here. Actually, I'm kind of digging those headlights too. Uh, that is sweet looking. All right, let's start boosting. Got to quit like paying attention to how pretty it looks and I need to uh, hopefully get a win here. There we go. Nice. Got a little bit of damage. Just a scratch. All right, and it immediately does us in an off-road race. So we're getting to try out all the different disciplines here. We are in a Ford Bronco. All right, looks like the Hummer EVs up there. Another Bronco's a dirt bike. It'd be insane to be in that dirt bike. Uh, man, that'd be a madman trying to race amongst all these big full-size cars. All right, come on. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a run here. Oh, he's like big checkpoints. Oh, those are trees over there. Okay, let's try not to hit those. I move out of my way, EV. Dude, the lighting system in the game looks phenomenal. All right, oh, we're gonna run on a couple people here. I'll throw it sideways a little bit. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's use the nitrous. And oh, okay. Where are we? Are we gonna land in the river? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I feel like that would not be very fun on the back there. By the way, I do like this uh, this Bronco. I'm not huge on the like the four door one, but the two door one. It's a pretty nice looking vehicle. Yes, uh, Komodo is complimenting uh, the Ford. Oh, geez. The dirt bike is actually out ahead. Hold on, let's pass this one here. Come on, we got to catch that dirt bike. Uh, what happens if you run the dirt bike over? That's a good question. Uh, we're going to attempt to do that. Oh, never mind. Wait, that was like so close there. Uh, I'm not sure I'm actually winning money at the moment. It's just kind of introduced me to all the different uh, disciplines. So next is our motorsports playlist. This is more like circuit racing here. And oh my goodness, this is a beautiful open wheel car. Not sure I'd have that open-faced helmet while driving this thing. That's pretty insane. But oh my goodness. Dude, look at the active wing in the back. It's helping the cars turn. Dude, these are insane. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get a run around the outside. Oh, let's see if I get a little draft here. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, man, these things just grip. Uh, extreme amounts of downforce. They turn really well. I do love the active arrow on the back. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Uh, we can go to the pit lane to restore our grip. All right, let's go down to the pit lane. We actually have uh, pit stops, I'm guessing. Dude, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, did not expect to see that. We're coming back out. We have full grip. Oh, everybody else was in pit lane, too. All right. That is awesome. Okay, wide open. There is just grip for days in this thing. On tight corner. Oh, it's just gripping. It feels so good. All right, here we come out the next corner. Is this the finish line? We have left the competition in the dust. All right, here we go. Looking back. Boom. Done. We did the thing. Can I just have these cars? Like, I would just honestly take them. Just give me all these cars. 
All right, here we go. We got another event. Vintage cars. Oh my goodness, an old Shelby Cobra. Man, they're just hitting here. Uh, win after win when it comes to the vehicles. All right, let's see what kind of speed this thing's got. I expect it to like want to slide around and feel heavy while having probably insane speeds. Uh, this is beautiful looking. Not gonna lie, I'd, I'd love to drive one of these around in real life. Uh, maybe not like quite in the summer here in Texas, but uh, yeah, any other time it'd be great. Okay, hey, don't bump the back of my car, man. That's a, uh, that's no good. Oh, geez, is that a? That looks like a Ford GT over there. Uh, let's see if we can get a run up the inside here. Very, very good run coming. Boom. So yeah, this is uh, more street racing. I like these open. I mean, I like closed circuits and I like open circuits. Like I like it all when it comes to racing. It's kind of hard for me to like choose a discipline. Like I just want to go immediately cover because they all probably have a lot of cars that I want. Uh, but we'll see when it opens up here. But man, I wouldn't mind it if they just gave me all the uh, early cars here. Uh, I'd take that. These are awesome. And there we go. That is a beautiful car there. Oh, here we go. Lamborghinis. Uh, yeah, very, very expensive cars that, you know, when I look at them in real life, I just cry a little bit. Like, man, I would love to have one of those. Don't, don't quite have money, though, on that one. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're, dude, they're like going like four wide here. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> Holy man. Uh, okay, hey, let's not smash all of our fancy toys up here. Like, we've probably already done way too much of damage. Okay, get a run up the inside. Oh, my goodness. Get a nice little boost here. Dude, this is like ultra competitive. Oh, he just put him in the guardrail. That's not safe. Oh, this is fine. Get another run. There we go. See what kind of grip. You should have decent grip. Oh, yeah. That feels pretty good. And oh, a little bit of braking. Okay, understeering a little bit. Oh, that's... I can only imagine what that would cost running into a wall like that. Tell you what, they're just, they're nailing it right out of the gate here with giving you all the, like, I guess the little taste of what you'd expect from the game, and I got a big grin on my, my face right now. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, be sure to let me know. Comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button. Okay, let's try to get a run. Oh, that was a nice little boost there. I got another one boosted up behind me, though, I think. Okay, looking good. Hold it wide open. And... Over the bridge. Is this the finish up here? I think the finish is coming up. There it goes. Nice. That is a beautiful piece of machinery right there. All right, time to pick out a car here. So, I mean, we have the Z4 here, which uh, I actually really do like this BMW. Uh, we got the Honda S2000. Looks like we have a... Oh, is this a 24? Yep, definitely a 24 here Mustang. Oh, yeah, you got the, the dash up there. And it's kind of hard to decide, to be honest with you. I mean... I think I have to go with the BMW here. Oh my goodness, this thing is absolutely beautiful. By the way, uh, I do really actually like BMWs in real life. I own one. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you just didn't want to pick the Mustang because it's a Mustang. No, it's I, I do like this car. The S2000 was a nice choice too. So we got some really, really cool looking playlist here. So we have Made in Japan. It's kind of what we got a taste of at the first. Uh, you have the Hawaii Scenic Tour, probably going to be off-roading. You got American Muscle, which would have made sense for the Mustang. I see the GT500 there. I wonder if that's probably where we'll find maybe some of our Dodges. We got a 911, and then there's a Donut Media one, too. You know what? Let's go look at the American Muscle. I didn't know if we had to do something kind of surrounding our vehicle. I guess this is what we get to play with uh, in free roam right now. I'm going to feel for what the island looks like. Ooh, buddy. It's a sweet-looking car, by the way. I wasn't always huge on like convertibles. Still would probably not drive a convertible in real life, but I mean, the body style of this car looks pretty amazing. Front is not bad either. I, I like it better than the big kidney uh, bean grills that they have on a lot of the, uh, I think it's like the M4. So it still looks a little bit closer to like the older style BMWs. So yeah, I guess we could go play with some loner cars. Uh, maybe win a muscle car uh, towards the end of it. I don't know how this is gonna work. Uh, I wouldn't mind winning a, a Shelby GT500 or GT350, depending on what's in the game. I need to go look at the car list again. Or if they give me a Dodge product, I'd be really happy with that too. By the way, we're just gaining XP, just cruising around on the streets. Uh, you can see the oncoming, uh, getting like near misses here. Uh, that was a Dodge Charger that we just passed. Looked like a uh, pre-2015 model before they got the facelift. So this is a Mustang tribute. So. <laughs> I didn't pick the Mustang, but we're going to be driving. I mean, if I get up to the, uh, the old GT500, I mean, that would be awesome. 
All right, here we are. I got a little bit older Mustang, not too old. Uh, it looks like maybe up there there's a mid-2000s one. We got older Dodge Charger, a couple Challengers, Camaro up here. All right, let's uh, see what we got. Got to make some uh, runs up maybe the inside here. And oh, let's see if we can outbreak. We got a, nope, not, well, actually, kind of a sharp corner. We'll just use the sidewalk. That's completely fine. Uh, just tuck up behind the, uh, the boat in front of us. And... Jeez. Okay. Oh! <laughs> you got clipped there by the Camaro. And we're just going to go up the inside. Kind of hop the curb a little bit. That probably wouldn't feel great in this Mustang. All right. Trying to make a run. See which way. See what kind of effect the uh, the draft is. I mean, I think we are getting a little bit here. And there we go. It's another position. See if we can outbreak the Challenger. Or we'll just hit a pole there. That's fine, too. I'm sure they didn't inconvenience everybody's day around this area. Oh, dude, the speed bumps they had through here. That would be just brutal. All right, do a little boost it out. Uh, it's 392 on the inside. There we go. Cleared him. Oh, dude, the 392 is just running over the back of me. I oh, took it three wide. Uh, that was a pretty sweet little move there. I uh, don't think there's any Hellcats in here, uh, at least in this particular race. I know there is in the game. Okay, do a little boost out. I uh, got a, a okay lead right now. Just got to keep pulling in here. See if maybe we can use a little bit of handbrake. See how this uh, Mustang slides. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, a little bit. Wasn't too big of a drift there. Well, let's try it again here. I don't know if I'm actually hurting myself or helping myself there. Oh, yeah. We pulled. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, we kind of forced ourselves into a drift there. Oh, still hit the checkpoint. Yes. Uh, we might need to get moving, though. They're uh, right behind us. Okay, we have a decent sized lead here. Let's not do anything dumb to screw this up. Let's just get through our uh, checkpoints. Uh, take home the victory. Kind of see what we want to do after this. Maybe turn up the difficulty a little bit. Uh, of course, I think turning it up. I think you uh, would probably earn more credits. Uh, oh, slide it through here. There we go. And one final boost. Oh, yeah, we got this. Boom. That was a commanding win. I mean, the first lap was pretty competitive, though. All right, so I do actually have some cars here. Uh, these are in my pack. Of course, we picked out our uh, beginning vehicle, which was the Z4, but we do have a uh, 718 here. We do have the M4. I did reference the uh, the big grill on these things. Uh, this looks amazing, this uh, Liberty Walk package, a uh, wide-body Supra. And then we have the one that I've got to play with here. It is uh, the SRT Hellcat Red Eye. I don't own a Red Eye in real life. I have a normal Hellcat. A difference of uh, actually a decent bit of horsepower. This is like 797, I believe. So we could actually use uh, some parts here and upgrade this thing and make it even more insane. Okay, so we have higher performance exhaust on there. Let's see. I think we've got pretty much all the parts that need to be on there uh, right now. Everything's looking good. All right, uh, what else can we do to this? Can't customize it. Well, mine's actually this color, but can I actually change the hood here? So we can give ourselves an uh, actual carbon fiber hood, which looks amazing on this, so we're definitely going to buy this. Front bumper, uh, you got the traditional Hellcat grill. This actually looks a little closer to like the Scat Packs, how they have the uh, the two holes. So you got some different headlight options. Uh, that actually kind of looks a little bit more like the V6. I, I don't think I like that one. There are so many variations of this. Actually, you could just get a splitter here on the front. And you kind of retain that original uh, Hellcat look. Honestly, digging this. Uh, I just want to customize this thing. Fenders, probably ain't going to do anything to that. I, I like the standard wide. Actually, you can make them a little wider. That really, that, I mean, look at the difference there. <laughs> you wanted it wide. This is already a wide vehicle. <laughs> we can make it even wider. Let's see, rims, uh, not really huge on silver. There's a ton of rim options here. Uh, kind of like my standard Hellcat wheels. Uh, actually, I think I have these on mine in real life, so we're going to go ahead and put those on. Caliper, you got to have them in red there. Got to show them off. Side skirt, don't know how I feel. Actually, that one's not bad. Uh, I don't mind that side skirt there. There we go. Okay, never been a, a fan of chargers with wings on it, but I do like the wrapped or the uh, carbon spoiler here. I think that looks good. I'm kind of digging that. That looks pretty good. That's That's pretty wild, too. That is an aggressive diffuser on the back of that. I think I'm gonna actually go with this one. We've got the carbon look. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot, so we're going to buy that. 
Hey, they have uh, the leather that I have in here. I don't have a red dash, though. Oh, wait, look at this. We could actually... Oh, dude. Uh, you can actually put the carbon insert here. Uh, yes, please. Okay, you could definitely customize a little more than I thought you could on the interior. I like that. I like that a whole lot. I'm sold here. Uh, thing looks amazing. Let's go ahead. We want to drive this. Oh, yes. Uh, hold on. Oh, you can hear... Dude, it sounds so good. Hold on, get a little crackle there. Let's check out the interior camera here. Ooh, looking pretty uh, good. Hold on, how, how's the sound on the inside? Oh, yeah, you definitely get some supercharger wine there. Oh, that's uh, it's very, very nice. Not gonna lie, I just want to drive this thing around. I could probably do this for uh, quite a while. I mean, it looks just so good. Yeah, I just, I'm a sucker for these, uh, these chargers. Uh, they look amazing. Sad to see them go, but, uh, actually really sad to see any of the V8 muscle cars disappear. <laughs> Alright, what do you say we go do another event here? I mean, would be nice if we could use this one, but I think we are, uh, using somebody else's collection here at all. Oh, going sideways. Right to a pole. Um, yeah, we're not gonna talk about how that rock got there in the front. No, that's completely fine. We'll just toss that off to the side here. Uh, this thing is really fun. Oh, rip sideways and almost hit stuff. I mean, the car's got such insane acceleration that you could almost just initiate a drift by going on and off the throttle. So you might be asked. Oh, 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 geez. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Oh, just flew off. Oh, that's fine. Now we have here a Dodge Hellcat in its natural environment. Um, we have a boat. And yeah, we should probably get out of this. Hey, we cleaned the car off, though. Uh, look at the bright side. All right, so we're trying our next event. It's Liberty Walk, a signature edition. Okay, the objective's to win. We got an M4 competition. Another uh, really, really sweet car. Is that a GT, is it a GT500 or a GT350 in front of us? Oh, dude, all right, there is a, is that a Hellcat? Yeah, a Hellcat over there. I mean, just, you know, they're just throwing like the correct cars at me right now. Like, getting to see all these, I mean, I'm instantly hooked. Like, I, I do want to play more of this. Oh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. All right, looking good. Out to the early lead. Got plenty of uh, grip in this thing. Imagine some of them heavy American cars are having some issues back there. Man, look at that. I mean, I'm ha I have time to look at the scenery, Han. Huh? We also need to look at the inside of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, I love the uh, interior on these BMWs. Uh, they did change these things. Uh, they definitely have, like, the big tablet screens now uh, across. I don't know if that's going to be, like, universal across all the models. Uh, also, this Shelby is right on me here. Hey, right, well, you, you trying to bump me here? I'll put you in the wall in this tunnel. All right, here we go. Get a little boost coming out here. Nice, uh, little somewhat straight away here. And then, oh, uh, we shift over to the other side. Oh, oh, jeez. Pretty lucky I just didn't fly off. Okay, something just passed me out. Is it the... Okay, it's the Shelby. Uh, the Hellcat. Oh, there it is. Where is fourth place? Oh, he's not that far behind. Okay. We are 43% done. I just completely slid to the right. Definitely should have thrown it sideways a little bit there. Okay, let's see if we can, see if we can hit a little bit here. See how the M4 feels sideways. Uh, feels really planted. Uh, actually feels really good. Yeah, I'll probably fine-tune some settings just to see what feels great. Oh my goodness. Wait, we just like upgrade it to a Liberty Walk M4. I was wondering why it was called that. Oh my good. Oh, dude, the I think even the exhaust tone got a little bit more aggressive there. I mean, I could be wrong, but man, the body lines on this. Uh, you know, some people aren't fans of like the bolt-on fender look, but uh, I kind of dig it on a lot of cars. So is there a higher up tier to this? I mean, are we about to transform once again? Yeah, I was wondering why it just had a uh, kind of a plain looking M4 uh, competition. I was like, well, where's the Liberty Walk portion? And it just answered all my prayers. Okay, there we go. Jump it sideways. Just go through the fence here. Uh, almost 70% done. Here's another checkpoint. Are we gonna transform one more time? You think we'll go even wider? We'll just go so wide, we just take up the whole track. I mean. I think that honestly would be kind of cool. Okay, here comes next checkpoint. Three quarters of the way through. Uh, finally, you start pulling the uh, Shelby again. They were actually giving me a pretty good fit there. Uh, actually, pretty competitive. I, I do think I'll probably turn it up a little bit for the next race, uh, difficulty wise. But solid start so far. Okay, here we go. The little sideways here. Uh, I do love the water effects on the road, uh, just the reflection. Uh, adds a whole lot here. Oh, buddy. Looks like we're heading out to the dock areas. 
Uh, 10 more percent to go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, get a little sideways there. Ooh, dude, this is pretty sweet looking. Uh, looks like we're wrapping it up here, though. Speed up and oh my goodness. Uh, I think we're gonna fly aim to the left a little bit. Yep, we're flying in the air. No, nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. And that is a victory there. Man, that thing looks sick. That is awesome looking. Oh, would you look at that? Beautiful sunrise, sunset. I don't know what you aim. Hold on, I'm looking at the sun real quick. Don't do this in real life. I believe it's moving down slightly, so I think we've gotten a sunset. Hold on. That's, okay, that's what I wanted to do there. There we go. That is, I mean, absolutely beautiful. Well, we are burning it down. Probably just used half a tank of gas here. Hold on. Let's go ahead and release. Yeah, buddy. Okay, let's go do another event, shall we? So they have probably one of the coolest maps in the game. It's kind of like a, it's aimed down a little bit. Uh, I like this. Oh, man, there's just so many different things to jump into. There's, like, festival grounds over here. I mean, it's absolutely insane, and it looks like a lot of it's just available to just go get it, like, immediately. Uh, there is one called the Vegas Strip. It is a drag race, so I'm kind of curious how this works in the game. So uh, we're going to travel over there and give it a look. Why don't we? So impressions so far, um, honestly, I'm liking it a lot. There is a lot to do. It seems like a lot of different event types, even some random things. And I mean, car selection on point, having a, a 23 Dodge in here, uh, pretty cool. Yo, what, what's going on here? Uh, why is that, why is that rapidly beating? Oh, is there something over here? Oh, it's XP, okay. Uh, I was getting kind of excited. It was like, uh, what are we going to win here? Got some XP, some uh, coins, uh, some parts for the cars. Okay. So, yeah, I noticed a little sonar thing was going off. I was like, wait a minute. There's got to be something close by. And uh, lo and behold, there was something in the back of that, uh, that area there. So I'm just going to rip it through a cornfield here. And almost to the Vegas Strip event. I'm actually excited for this to see... Uh, what it's got. Okay, so we have increased uh, the difficulty. So a full-blown drag racing, warm up the tires, uh, and then step on the gas when it goes green. Also, I do believe we're manually shifting here. Oh my good. Okay, I gotta admit, that's beautiful. Look at the drag slicks on the back of that Mustang. Oh, yes. Okay, so run one. Uh, all right, so we need to burn the tires off or warm them up here. Try to keep it in the green. All right. Step on the gra gas on green lights, and here we go. Looking for good shifts here. I guess we're going to get right in the green. I actually might have shifted from first to second a little too quick there. And there's another good shift. And okay. That was pretty decent. Didn't get the time. I, I did screw up first gear there. So I, I definitely want to do another run. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, also completely missed nitro there. I was so focused on the shifting part. Okay, getting a nice little uh, burnout here. There we go. Let's just step on the gas when it turns green. And there we go. Uh, a little better shift there. Let's go nitrous. Oh, that was a little bit of a short shift there. Oh, what kind of run do we have? Okay, I can get addicted to this. Like, I, I want to keep making runs here. I feel like I screwed up. a short shift it there on that one. Okay, ran like a 10-5. We get one more run at this. Uh, I feel like we got this. All right, let's try to get the perfect uh, amount of heat in the tires. Oh, oh, a little over there. There we go. Okay, we got this. And oh, there we go. Okay, a little bit better shift that time. Okay, try to get maximum out of the gears. Uh, I wonder if you should wait for the nitrous. That felt a little better. There we go. The 9-8. It would definitely beat the time we needed to beat there. Yo, can I keep the car? <laughs> I wouldn't mind keeping this one. That was awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and check out. I mean, I, I really want to drive the Supra here, the Liberty Walk. Like, it looks cool. You got a, a Honda Type R here, which i uh, not a huge fan of Hondas, but this one looks pretty good. You got classic muscle. I mean, this thing's ridiculous. Like, you could upgrade this. Like, can you customize more? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, I wasn't huge on the pure black. Like, I don't mind it, but uh, this red is very, very nice. Uh, I do like that. Oh, man, that looks deep. That might be a little too much here. Matte colors, though. I, I am a fan of matte colors, too. That matte color is nice. Let's apply that. There we go. Oh, and let's got to look at the... Actually, look at the uh, the lights coming off the side. That's ridiculous. 
Uh, let's look at the interior. Did they do anything to the interior of this thing? No, it looks mostly stock as far as the interior here. Let's go ahead and take off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can hear that turbo. That sounds good. Yeah, I think it'd be a shame if we didn't at least do to end it off with a off-roading event. So I'm going to go ahead and start the playlist up, and then we'll head over to the first one. And oh, my goodness. I did not see that dip down. That's fine. We just tore this thing up. Okay, so I actually require a race spec uh, KTM. Uh, let's see, 22. Oh, yeah. No, we got this. So we uh, we went from a wide-body Supra to a uh, an ATV. <laughs> Dude. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how comfortable I am driving with full-size vehicles, but I mean, we'll give it a go here. Uh, honestly, all the uh, different disciplines, uh, very, very cool to see in the game here. Plus, there's still more to check out. Oh, okay, here we go. Mud Hour, right here. Let's see what this has got. Okay, we've turned up uh, the difficulty a little bit more. There's still plenty more levels to go, and I did confirm, uh, yes, you do gain more XP. Uh, for doing higher levels of difficulty. So yeah, you can really just cater it to how you want uh, But yeah, we're doing a pure ATV race I was kind of thinking I'd have some full-size vehicles to contend with honestly That'd be really scary, but it's kind of cool seeing like just ATVs going around You know, it's an ATV only race. Oh my goodness. Okay. That looked like it might be a little painful Yeah, I don't think I'd be doing this on an ATV. Uh, I do love ATVs though Okay, try to figure like get a feel for how this handles uh, Definitely feels fairly heavy. I think I need to throw it around a little bit more. Uh, we'll try tapping that uh, handbrake uh, when I get to a sharp corner here and see if we can just kind of whip it sideways. Uh, does that really work? No, it doesn't really work that much. So, seems like you just gotta have to hug the inside of the corners here on this. We are tearing up somebody's crops right now. I need to get a little bit of a run here. Gotta catch uh, first, second, and third, actually fourth. There's a lot of cars in front of me. Hey, but we had to increase the difficulty a little bit. I feel like, uh, I mean, even though some of the race was pretty close, uh, I still feel like definitely could go a little higher. Come on, turn. There we go. And throttle up the inside with a little boost. Uh, make it up some spots here. Okay, coming up to checkpoint. This might be the finish line. All right, we got a competitive one here. First and second are kind of getting out a little bit. Uh, I'd like to see if we can get a run. Try to get up the inside. Oh, they just pushed each other off a little bit there. All right, we're good. Come on, baby. Go faster. See if we can throttle up, do a little boost it over this. I don't even see first place right now. That might be a bit of a concern. Come on, we're looking for a podium here. Turn. There you go. Uh, third place. I mean, they're right there. Kind of saving up a little bit of boost here. Be nice to be able to naturally catch them, but I, I want to definitely boost it really hard here. And we get a nice straightaway. Ooh, I might be able to get both here. All right, let's boost hard. That was a good one there. Okay, so we're in third place. Come on, so close. Okay, we got to save one more boost here for the end. Oh, but first place is right. Okay, I'm going to hit a little early. Ah, oh, first place is right there. I could see them. Oh, my goodness. I think I took the wide way around the track. I, that was definitely a mistake. Definitely should have taken the right lane there. That cost me a position. All right, coming up to the finish. I got a boost here. I got to try to reclaim... Second place, no! Okay, I can't quite, I can't quite get it. It's gonna be so close. Oh, we barely missed out on it there. That was fun though. Uh, I do actually enjoy the ATVs. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for this first episode. If you guys wanna see more, you know what to do. Go check out the link in the description and thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video.